Sati on seeing a person who was neither beloved nor unloved, so he pervades all beings with equanimity, Vi by 275. 89 Therefore he should arouse equanimity towards the neutral person in the way already stated. Then, through the neutral one, he should break down the barriers in each case between the three people, that is, the dear person, then the boon companion, and then the hostile one, and lastly himself. And he should cultivate that sign, develop and repeatedly practice it. 90 As he does so the fourth Yohanna arises in him in the way described under the earth Kajio. But how then? Does this arise in one in whom the third Yohanna has already arisen on the basis of the earth Kajio, etc.? It does not. Why not? Because of the dissimilarity of the object. It arises only in one in whom the third Yohanna has arisen on the basis of loving kindness, etc., because the object is similar. But after that the versatility and the obtaining of advantages should be understood in the same way as described under loving kindness. This is the detailed explanation of the development of equanimity. General. 91 Now, having thus known these divine abidings told by the Divine One, Brahma, supremely wise, there is this general explanation too. Concerning them that he should recognize. Meanings. 92 Now, as to the meaning firstly of loving kindness, compassion, gladness, and equanimity, it fattens, mejidi, thus it is loving kindness, metta, it is solvent, sinihudi, is the meaning. Also, it comes about with respect to a friend, mitta, 318 or it is behavior towards a friend, thus it is loving kindness, metta. When there is suffering in others it causes, karati, good people's hearts to be moved, Kampana, thus it is compassion, Karuoa. Or, alternatively, it combats, Kyoatai, eleven others' suffering, attacks and demolishes it, thus it is compassion. Or alternatively, it is scattered, Kiriati, upon those who suffer, it is extended to them by pervasion, thus it is compassion, Karuoa. Those endowed with it are glad, Modanti, or itself is glad. Modetai, or it is the mere act of being glad, Modana, thus it is gladness, Mudita. It looks on it, Upekhati, abandoning such interestedness as thinking may they be free from enmity and having recourse to neutrality, thus it is equanimity, Upekha. Characteristic, etc. 93 As to the characteristic, etc. Loving kindness is characterized here as promoting the aspect of welfare. Its function is to prefer welfare. It is manifested as the removal of annoyance. Its proximate cause is seeing lovableness in beings. It succeeds when it makes ill will subside, and it fails when it produces selfish affection. 94 Compassion is characterized as promoting the aspect of allaying suffering. Its function resides in not bearing others' suffering. It is manifested as non-cruelty. Its proximate cause is to see helplessness in those overwhelmed by suffering. It succeeds when it makes cruelty subside and it fails when it produces sorrow. 95 Gladness is characterized as gladdening, produced by others' success. Point 12 Its function resides in being unenvious. It is manifested as the elimination of aversion, boredom. Its proximate cause is seeing beings, success. It succeeds. When it makes aversion, boredom, subside, and it fails when it produces merriment. 96 Equanimity is characterized as promoting the aspect of neutrality towards beings. Its function is to see equality in beings. It is manifested as the quieting of resentment and approval. Its proximate cause is seeing ownership of deeds, kama, thus, beings are owners of their deeds. WHOSE13 If not theirs is the choice by which they will become happy, or will get free from suffering, or will not fall away from the success they have reached. It succeeds when it makes resentment. And approval subside, and it fails when it produces the equanimity of unknowing, which is that worldly-minded indifference of ignorance based on the house life. Purpose 97 The general purpose of these four divine abidings is the bliss of insight and an excellent form of future existence. 
that peculiar to each is respectively the warding off of ill will, and so on. For here loving kindness has the purpose of warding off ill will, while the others have the respective purposes of warding off cruelty, aversion, boredom, and greed, or resentment. And this is said too, for this is the escape from ill will, friends, that is to say, the mind deliverance of loving kindness. For this is the escape from cruelty, friends, that is to say, the mind deliverance of compassion. For this is the escape from boredom, friends, that is to say, the mind deliverance of gladness. For this is the escape from greed, friends, that is to say, the mind deliverance of equanimity, d3248. The near and far enemies. 98 And here each one has two enemies, one near and one far. The divine abiding of loving kindness 319 has greed as its near enemy 14 since both share in seeing virtues. Greed behaves like a foe who keeps close by a man, and it easily finds an opportunity. So loving kindness should be well protected from it. And ill will, which is dissimilar to the similar greed, is its far enemy like a foe ensconced in a rock wilderness. So loving kindness must be practiced free from fear of that. For it is not possible to practice loving kindness and feel anger simultaneously. CD 3 247 48. 99 Compassion has grief based on the home life as its near enemy, since both share in seeing failure. Such grief has been described in the way beginning, when a man either regards as a privation failure to obtain visible objects cognizable by the eye that are sought after, desired, agreeable, gratifying, and associated with worldliness or when he recalls those formerly obtained that are past, ceased and changed, then grief arises in him. Such grief as this is called grief. Based on the home life, M3218. And cruelty, which is dissimilar to the similar grief, is its far enemy. So compassion must be practiced free from fear of that, for it is not possible to practice compassion and be cruel to breathing things simultaneously. 100 Gladness has joy based on the home life as its near enemy, since both share in seeing success. Such joy has been described in the way beginning, when a man either regards as gain the obtaining of visible objects cognizable by the eye that are sought, and associated with worldliness, or recalls those formerly obtained that are past, ceased, and changed, then joy arises in him. Such joy as this is called joy based on the home life. M3217. An aversion, boredom, which is dissimilar to the similar joy, is its far enemy. So gladness should be practiced free from fear of that, for it is not possible to practice gladness and be discontented with remote abodes and things connected with the higher profitableness simultaneously. 101 Equanimity has the equanimity of unknowing based on the home life as its near enemy since both share in ignoring faults and virtues. Such unknowing has been described in the way beginning, on seeing a visible object with the eye equanimity arises in the foolish infatuated ordinary man, in the untaught ordinary man who has not conquered his limitations, who has not conquered future karma result, who is unperceiving of danger. Such equanimity as this does not surmount the visible object. Such equanimity as this is called equanimity based on the home life, M3219. And greed and resentment, which are dissimilar to the similar. Unknowing, are its far enemies. Therefore equanimity must be practiced free from fear of that. 324 It is not possible to look on with equanimity and be inflamed with greed or be resentful 15 simultaneously. The beginning, middle, and end, etc. 102 Now zeal consisting in desire to act is the beginning of all these things. Suppression of the hindrances, etc., is the middle. Absorption is the end. Their object is a single living being or many. Living beings, as a mental object consisting in a concept. The order in extension. 103 The extension of the object takes place either in access or in absorption. Here is the order of it. Just as a skilled plowman first delimits an area and then does his plowing, so first a single dwelling should be delimited and loving-kindness developed towards all beings there in the way beginning, 
in this dwelling may all beings be free from enmity. When his mind has become malleable and wieldy with respect to that, he can then delimit two dwellings. Next he can successively delimit three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one street, half the village, the whole village, the district, the kingdom, one direction, and so on up to one world sphere, or even beyond that, and develop loving kindness towards the beings in such areas. Likewise with compassion and so on. This is the order in extending here. The outcome. 104 Just as the immaterial states are the outcome of the Kajioas, and the base consisting of neither perception nor non-perception is the outcome of concentration, and fruition attainment is the outcome of insight, and the attainment of cessation is the outcome of serenity coupled with insight, so the divine abiding of equanimity is the outcome of the first three divine abidings. For just as the gable rafters cannot be placed in the air without having first set up the scaffolding and built the framework of beams, so it is not possible to develop the fourth, Yahana in the fourth divine abiding, without having already developed the third Yahana in the earlier, three divine abidings. Four questions. 105 And here it may be asked, but why are loving-kindness, compassion, gladness, and equanimity, called divine abidings? And why are they only four? And what is their order? And why are they called measureless states in the Abhidhamma? 106 It may be replied, the divineness of the abiding, Brahmaviharata, should be understood. Here in the sense of best and in the sense of immaculate. For these abidings are the best in being the right attitude towards beings. And just as Brahma gods abide with immaculate minds, so the meditators who associate themselves with these abidings abide on an equal footing with Brahma gods. So they are called divine abidings in the sense of best and in the sense of immaculate. 321. 107 Here are the answers to the questions beginning with why are they only four? Their number four is due to paths to purity and other sets of four, their order to their aim. As welfare and the rest. Their scope is found to be immeasurable, so measureless states their name. 108 For among these, loving kindness is the way to purity for one who has much ill will, compassion is that for one who has much cruelty, gladness is that for one who has much aversion, boredom, and equanimity is that for one who has much greed. Also attention given to beings is only fourfold, that is to say, as bringing welfare, as removing suffering, as being glad at their success, and as unconcern, that is to say, impartial neutrality. And one abiding in the measureless states should practice loving kindness and the rest like a mother with four sons, namely, a child, an invalid, one in the flush of youth, and one busy with his own affairs, for she wants the child to grow up wants the invalid to get well, wants the one in the flush of youth to enjoy for long the benefits of youth, and is not at all bothered about the one who is busy with his own affairs. That is why the measureless states are only four as due to paths to purity and other sets of four. 109 One who wants to develop these four should practice them towards beings first as the promotion of the aspect of welfare, and loving-kindness has the promotion of the aspect of welfare as its characteristic and next, on seeing or hearing or judging sixteen that beings whose welfare has been thus wished for are at the mercy of suffering, they should be practiced as the promotion of the aspect of the removal of suffering, and compassion has the promotion of the aspect of the removal of suffering as its characteristic, and then, on seeing the success of those whose welfare has been wished for and the removal of whose suffering has been wished for, they should be practiced as being glad and gladness has the act of gladdening as its characteristic, but after that there is nothing to be done and so they should be practiced as the neutral aspect, in other words, the state of an onlooker, and equanimity has the promotion of the aspect of neutrality as its characteristic, therefore, since their respective aims are the aspect of welfare, etc., their order should be understood to correspond, with loving-kindness stated first, then compassion gladness and equanimity. 110 All of them, however, occur with a measureless scope, for their scope is measureless beings, and instead of assuming a measure such as loving-kindness, 
etc., should be developed only towards a single being, or in an area of such an extent, they occur with universal pervasion. That is why it was said, 322. Their number 4 is due to paths to purity and other sets of 4, their order to their aim. As welfare and the rest. Their scope is found to be immeasurable, so measureless states their name. As producing 3 yahanas and 4 yahanas. 111 Though they have a single characteristic in having a measureless scope, yet the first three are only of triple and quadruple yahana respectively in the fourfold and fivefold reckonings. Why? Because they are not dissociated from joy. But. Why are their aims not dissociated from joy? Because they are the escape from ill will, etc., which are originated by grief. But the last one belongs only to the remaining single yahana. Why? Because it is associated with equanimous feeling. For the divine abiding of equanimity that occurs in the aspect of neutrality towards beings does not exist apart from equanimous that is to say, neither painful nor pleasant feeling. 112 However, someone might say this, it has been said by the Blessed One in the Book of Eights, speaking of the measureless states in General, next, Pikhu, you should develop the concentration with applied thought and sustained thought, and you should develop it without applied thought and with sustained thought only, and you should develop it without applied thought and without sustained thought, and you should develop it with happiness, and you should develop it without happiness, and you should develop it accompanied by gratification, and you should develop it accompanied by equanimity, A4300. Consequently all four measureless states have quadruple and quintuple yahana. 113 He should be told, do not put it like that. For if that were so, then contemplation of the body, etc., would also have quadruple and quintuple yahana. But there is not even the first yahana in the contemplation of feeling or in the other 2.17 so do not misrepresent the Blessed One by adherence to the letter. The enlightened one's word is profound and should be taken as it is intended, giving due weight to the teachers. 114 And the intention here is this, the Blessed One, it seems, was asked to teach the Dhamma thus, Venerable Sir, it would be good if they.